Today I want to show you the progress of Villa Kula. This is what we call the summer kitchen and Robin's living room. It maybe had the biggest change of all the buildings on the farm. But we really renovated it on a low budget. I think it turned out quite nice. Hey, hello. Do you want to come and have a look at Villa Kula? Come on in. Well, here it is. This is what we showed you very briefly last time. This is uh, Villa Kula. It was a completely rundown mm, nothing, really. So we did everything. We pointed the walls, we put a new roof on, we put windows in. You want to have a look at a bit more detail behind you here? Katya's uh, mainly succulents corner, which is very pretty. And this is a nice little feature. Katya made this, I don't know if you can see, but this is a piece of cork bark off one of our old cork trees, uh, suspended with three pieces of rope. So this wall was uh, just bare stone, but in very bad condition, full of holes. So we uh, heavily pointed it and then filled it with a render. The wall above here, where the mural is, was just bare concrete blocks. So again, we rendered it. And then Katya said, do a mural, do a mural. Ah, jungle, uh, okay. So this is what I came up with. Um, just various ideas, big leaves, fruit, various animals, um, snails, caterpillars, monkey with glasses. I don't know why the monkey has uh, Elton John glasses. It's just the way it is. But to make things quite interesting, we've got a chameleon, a jumping frog over a tiger, beetles. Uh, this is my dinosaur collection, by the way. I'm, I am only four years old. Coming along, uh, yes, more flowers. Uh, we have a, uh, can't remember what his name is, big eyes, and some lemurs at the end, and a big butterfly, a giant butterfly. And these, uh, these fine fellows here were actually done by an artist friend of ours on one of his visits. I think this is a llama-ish. This is a bubble and that's another smaller bubble. Uh, all this stuff are um, sticks. I have a fascination with sticks. Sorry, it's just a failing of mine. And uh, I've just um, found things like uh, eucalyptus sticks and I've taken a bit of cork oak at the top and splice them together. Well, this is another found piece of furniture um, and uh, a little bit of kind of semi-traditional pot <laughs> painting. Man with Willy. And this one is called Woman with Boobies. Ah, by the way, it's been very hot here lately. It's been very hot. We've had 10, 12 days of over 40 degrees. And this is what it did to our candle. The kitchen area, again, done on a budget. This is a... Uh, blah, 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 a something? A, a something board top. I can't remember what they call it. Growing some bigger plants here. Looking forward to this one creating a big jungle coming. We want to have it come across all the uh, roof beams here. That would be nice. Okay, so for the floor, these are the concrete bricks which we laid very simply on, on the earth, which we graded, just mixed with a little bit of sand, and that seems to have worked very well. Over the front, we laid some, uh, some stone, mostly this flat schist, which we found around the place. We're just looking at the length of the room from the kitchen end now, you can see it's a nice space. And it's nice and light and airy and the plants make a big difference. The dogs like it too. So that's Villa, Villa Kula for you. And it's a very nice space indeed. It's a very pleasant, airy, relaxing space. It serves as lounge and kitchen. It also serves as a party space, a nice relaxed space to have a few visitors around sometimes. Hope you like it. Please like and consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to ring the bell for notifications.